guys, welcome to May's Unboxings. Today I have Super Geek Box. This was July's box and the theme was Unlimited Pixels and August's theme is Warriors. So a little bit about this. This box actually says wait, do not open until you receive both boxes. So I waited and waited. I was like, hmm, it's been like two and a half weeks. Why have I gotten? Well, I contacted their support and they actually told me that only people in the US got the two boxes because of um, wait restrictions. So people in Canada, everything was packed in one box. Which I found a little confusing. I feel like they probably should have sent an email out or something to notify people about that so people didn't wonder about the box being missing the second part. Like me, because I could open this, mm, I don't know, two and a half weeks ago. So, so yeah, but I still got it, so I can't be too upset or anything, but it was just, it was just kind of like, like a what? But other than that, this box is only 20, like 3 or 24 dollars, including shipping, and it's one of the cheapest geek gamer boxes that um, I've gotten. Oh, right. It's taped. Duh. That I've gotten um, for Canada. Usually shipping sucks. Like, Loot Crate and RK Block usually has like 10 or 12 dollars full of shipping, and it's, it's kind of a lot, but here we go. So as you can see up here, it just says you can share it and stuff, which is kind of cool. So, let's open this up and let's get to the shirt. So the month, this month, the shirt, which is my first shirt, is, and it's going to be impossible for you to see. So obviously I will show a picture, but it looks like it's, oh, wrong way. Oh my gosh, it's like a... It's like a little a Game Boy that way back in the old days. I'll make sure to put a really good picture of it. But that is awesome. Except for it does say Super Geek Box Exclusive right there, so I'm not a huge fan of it. I am not a huge fan of their logo just <laughs> plastered right there. But other than that, that's a really cool shirt. And I'll show you guys, obviously, the picture of it. Next up, we have a very big... Mouse. This is a massive mouse pad. It's like two mouse pads like put together. It's really, really long, long, like long. And again, always put better pictures. Um, we have the info card that kind of has spoilers in it, so I'm not gonna look at that quite yet. Next, we have some kind of the 8-bit pixelated glasses, and they're not. Sunglasses, uh, I guess they are UV 400 protection, but they're clear see through pixel glasses. Huh, that's interesting. They're just black. Um, a lot of peak companies have been putting their own pixel glasses in them, and you can buy them pretty cheap. So, next we have a Bite Me Geekbox exclusive dog tag. That's cool with the piranha plant on it. it looks like metal actually. It looks metal and it's not on like string it's actually or a cheap chain it's on like almost kind of like leatherish type ro um, ropey string it's kind of cool next this is their pin it says super geek box on it july ultimate pixels that's really cool i like that pin next we have a very cool space invaders this is the Space Invaders tin, and it has sour candy in it. That's a really awesome tin. Look at that. That's really cool. I can't wait to display this tin. So, just some candy in it. So, next we have a keychain, and this is a Pac Man keychain. And, uh, very cool. So, you can attach it to lanyards or your backpack. And it clamps, kind of. So that's really cool. I like Pac-Man stuff, so... Awesome. And to go with that, we have another Pac-Man. We have the Ghost Plush, and this isn't a keychain. Well, I guess you could use it as a key keychain, but it's a plush. So it's awesome that you get Pac-Man. And So one other thing I wanted to point out is that they put exclusive on these glasses. And uh, they're not really exclusive. You can find these really anywhere online for like a dollar. The only reason they're exclusive is because they say Super Geek Box exclusive. So I think they're kind of overusing the word exclusive a little bit. Um, 
especially with their shirt. I mean, anybody could print that shirt if they wanted to, so I don't think it's necessary for them to have Super Geek um, Box exclusive on the shirt. If they have it in the info card, yeah, that's cool, but on the shirt, it's a little bit too branding, and the logo is quite massive on it. It's not really kind of discreet, and you can see it, but then you can't see it. It's, it's kind of big. So, uh, la um, second last, we have some, I'm assuming, stickers, Super Geek Box stickers or something. I think you can put these on your glasses if you want to. I think they're kind of made, so you could... Actually, maybe they're not, I don't know. And finally, this is actually kind of cool. These are Unlimited Pixels 8-bit, um, it's kind of like stickers almost, but they're actually used, you can use them to put on your laptops or your phones to help decorate them. That's really cool. Alright, sorry about that guys. So overall, so that's kind of cool. They have a picture of you putting it on your Mac, which is kind of awesome, that Yoshi there. So overall, you got eight items, and I think overall for the money that I'm paying for this, like the $24, it's definitely worth it. I mean, we got some really awesome items. I loved a lot of these ice items. I like some of these better than the Loot Crate boxes, but then again, I like some Loot Crate boxes better than this. So overall, I think this is a really cool box. So if you guys are interested, I have the link down below. Um, pretty cheap, and if you're Canadian, again...